to my channel. I apologize for the weird echo, but we are standing in front of a very empty and clean slate bathroom that we are going to be transforming today, which I'm so excited about. This is actually part two of a two-part series. If you haven't gone and seen part one of this video, that is where I deep cleaned this entire bathroom and decluttered everything to really prep this space for actually transforming it. So today is the day that we are actually starting the transformation and I'm so excited. This will probably not take just today. I will probably be working on it tomorrow and Saturday when this video goes up. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a process, but I'm really excited about this video. This bathroom is definitely not that bad and as bad as some of the videos here on YouTube that I've seen, but I am standing in front of probably the worst part of this bathroom, which is the cabinet situation. So we're going to be tackling that today as well as the floors and just some minor tweaks to the bathroom that I just need to fix up. Like there's some spots on the wall that I wanna paint and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, if you're interested in seeing me transform this bathroom into an amazing, black, white, neutral, modern bathroom, and then just keep on watching, and let's get into this video. Woo! that I needed. I did already have the flooring that we're using, which is this guy right here. This is from Floor Pops, which I'm sure you guys have seen. If you've been watching other bathroom makeovers here on YouTube, then this is pretty much what everyone has been using, and it seems like a really good product, and I'm really excited to try it out. This is the pattern that Francis and I picked out here. We love it. It's very our style, very simplistic, minimal, modern, neutral, all of the M and M words. <laughs> so I picked this out kind of as a color scheme that I wanted to go for in the bathroom. Obviously black and white is a color scheme, but I also wanted to start bringing in this nice gray color. So I asked on my Instagram what color cabinets I should do, either white, black, or gray. And gray actually won, which was really awesome and something that I wanted to happen because I really wanted to bring in that gray to the bathroom instead of just having it so just black and white. So I decided to go into my little like fan deck. I do have two different fan decks from Benjamin Moore because I went to school for interior decorating and for some reason we got them for free. But I ended up picking out this color right here. It's called Stormy Monday by Benjamin Moore. And when I went to Home Depot, I found this paint right here, which is from Bear and they can color match any color, and this is a chalk paint. And I've heard a lot of good things about chalk paint um, for cabinets and just how thick it is and how um, durable it is and easy it is to get an opaque coat. So we just got a little tiny one of this in the Stormy Monday color. Really excited to try this. I have heard that sometimes you need to put like a coat over top, so we might do that a little bit later, but for now, we're gonna do that. That's one thing that I got from Home Depot. I also got some tape, which I did find another roll downstairs, so I didn't actually need to get this, but whatever. And then we also got some just all-purpose um, acrylic latex caulk plus silicone. Indoor, outdoor, paintable, flexible, um, mildew re resistant, and water cleanup. So that's gonna be for just outlining things and making things look a little bit more professional. And then we also got a paintbrush for the paint, and then we also got some small rollers to paint all the cabinetry, and then I don't actually have one of these, but it's like one of the can openers, so decided to get that. It's only like 77 cents. Hello? Okay, calm yourself down. Okay, so with all that out of the way, I'm going to start this project finally. It's about noon right now, so I'm hoping to get a ton done today and then a little bit done tomorrow and then maybe the finishing touches on Saturday 
and then this video will go up on Saturday. So hoping, fingers crossed, this won't take too long, but we're actually gonna start from the ceiling down. That is the best way to do it because obviously if you're painting a wall or something, stuff might fall down onto the counter, and then when you're doing the counter, stuff might fall off the counter onto the floor. So it's best to do it from top to bottom so that everything is good and clean and nothing's falling onto other finished surfaces. So. With that being said, let's get into this. I'm going to take down this mirror here. We're going to fill in some holes on the wall, tape up the light fixture. I'm not gonna take the light fixture down just because we put it up there. Our wonderful contractor put that up for us, which was really, really nice and kind of a surprise when we got home. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tape that up. I'm gonna paint the wall after the um, stuff, putty stuff is dry. Finish that up. I'm gonna put the mirror back up and then we'll move on to the counter. So let's get into it. So starting day one, we are first tackling the wall. This is probably the easiest of all the projects that I have to tackle in this video. So I'm starting off by taking the mirror down. The new light fixture here was actually a little bit lower than we thought, and we had the mirror up before our contractor changed the light fixtures. So he actually did mention that the mirror needed to be brought down just a little bit because the light fixture was overlapping it. So I did fill in the holes from the mirror and then I also filled in the holes from the old light fixture. And I don't know if you guys can see there, but there was like a square of the old paint, which was a really ugly beige color. Um, that was where the old light fixture was. So while all the putty was drying, I went ahead and taped off the cabinet as well as the countertop and then went back up to the wall. And you guys can see there a little bit better that the just wall was a little bit discolored compared to the white that we put over top. So I just went ahead and painted the wall. And this only took one coat just quickly to match the paint. wall is finished I think I am gonna put a second coat on it just because you can kind of still see like the outline of where the other light fixture was which kind of annoys me I don't actually think I'm gonna be able to get rid of that I tried to sand it away but it didn't quite work but it's fine it's better than the like white with like the yellowish weird beige toned paint that was on it before um, it looked really bad so that is finished I'm just waiting for that to dry before I do the second coat and then we can actually put the mirror back up and untape the light fixture and stuff but for now while we wait for that i'm going to start on the countertop which if you guys have seen my kitchen makeover i actually used this product here and i have some left over to be able to use on this countertop which this is the exact same countertop that was in the kitchen so i know that it's going to work really well this is the gianni marble countertop painting kit which you put two um, coats of the white paint on it and then you actually do the marble yourself and I had a lot of fun with this and kind of being creative with it So we're gonna start on this project quickly and we're gonna put on our first coat and then we're actually gonna move on to the cabinet So I'm really excited about that. But for now, let's start with the first coat of the marble so I started off the countertop by trimming out all of the little backsplash area as well as just the corners and around the sink. If you haven't gone and seen my kitchen makeover, I did use this same countertop paint and I do explain a little bit better in there how this product works. But basically I am just starting off by putting a few layers of this white paint and then later we'll go in with some gray paint and do some marbling and it's a lot of fun and I really enjoyed doing it with the kitchen. So yeah, this is a really easy project and I definitely recommend this product to anybody. But moving on, we are taking all of the knobs off of the cabinetry. These knobs are not going to be used in the future. I am just gonna put them aside for possibly another project in the future, but I did go ahead and buy some new hardware from Ikea actually a long time ago and I just haven't gotten around to putting them on here. But I figured this would be the perfect time to do it, obviously because we are making an entire new cabinet. So I'm also going ahead and taking off all of the front of the drawers. This made it so easy to paint this cabinet, guys. I cannot tell you how much easier it was to do this. So I went ahead and took all of these out into the living room, put down a sheet, and then went ahead and 
thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned off all of the cabinets. The really nice thing about the paint that I got from Home Depot is that it is a chalk paint, so it doesn't actually require you to do any sanding beforehand or anything like that. So just a quick clean was all I needed, and then we went ahead and went on to actually painting, which was really, really good and turned out a lot better than I thought it was. This I was fully anticipating to have to do you know, two coats at least, and I only had to do one coat, guys, which is amazing. You guys saw that I ended up getting a shade called Stormy Monday, which literally is like the perfect match to the gray that is in the flooring. So I was really, really happy with the way that the paint turned out. Um, I will possibly in the future, I think I mentioned this sometime in the video, but I will in the future possibly be getting just like a clear coat to put over. But I really do like the finish of the chalk paint. It really gives a nice, clean, really matte finish, which I love. So we will see, but for now, this paint is really, really good and I definitely recommend it. Once I was finished painting all of the drawer faces as well as the cabinetry, we moved on to the countertop, which you guys can see here that we had a little bit of cracking, which was really unfortunate and it's something that I didn't have to deal with when it came to the kitchen counter. So I'm unsure why that happened with this one, but a few coats and it actually covered up that cracking. So ended up turning out really nicely and we finished up with the second coat. Hey guys, what is up? It is now day two of a project bathroom transformation. We actually made a lot more progress yesterday than I originally thought. Um, we are pretty much finished all of the countertop and all of the cabinets. Um, the countertop just needs the marbling detail and the top coat. And then I just need to paint the back of all the drawers and the cabinet. And then the only other major thing that we have to do is the floor today. So I think I should be able to wrap it up today and then I will have to edit this video obviously and then get it up for you guys tomorrow. So yeah, we're gonna get right into it. I'm going to start off by painting the backs of these cabinets here and then we will get into doing the marbling of the countertop and then the floor, which I'm really, really excited about. I feel like the floor being put down will really transform the space and make it look amazing. And then the only other thing after that is to just put everything back in, do the final touches, and then we can show you guys a little after. So let's get into it and bring on day two. Okay, so we are starting off day number two with a very easy project. Like I mentioned before, this chalk paint was so easy to work with. So we are just flipping over all of these 
and painting the backs. And yes, if you can see my cell phone off to the left there, I am watching one of Megan Rink's videos on her recent hacking of her YouTube channel. I think all of that is completely ridiculous and was very entertaining to watch, I must admit. But we're moving on to the marbling. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't speed up this part of the video, just so I could talk to you guys about exactly what I'm doing to achieve this marbling effect. So you first off go in with a small paintbrush and just do some lines wherever you want. Um, you can be really creative with where you put the lines. And then you take the spray bottle with just some water and you spray the lines before they dry. And then with this brush here, it came with the kit, you kind of manipulate the gray paint mixed with the water and it gives a really, really good and realistic kind of marbling effect. So you honestly just take forever and just, I got in the zone and just manipulated all of these gray lines and it's just such a fun project. So I definitely recommend it. And yes, it can take quite a bit of time. Honestly, this tiny little bit of a countertop here probably took me a good, you know, two hours, I would say, maybe even two and a half hours to do. The kitchen probably took me a good four hours to complete all the marbling, but I went a little bit more with this countertop because I wanted it to be a little bit more of a busy marble rather than the more simplistic marble that I did in the kitchen, so. Okay, so the countertop is officially finished. I have taken way too long just because I'm a perfectionist, but I definitely think it's not as good as I did in the kitchen, but still looking on camera, it looks like marble. So that is all that I ask for. But now that that is finished, I'm gonna wait for that to dry and we are going to quickly clean up the floor. We're gonna sweep, we're gonna clean, and then we're gonna get to the flooring. So I'm really, really excited for that. So it is now time to start on the last main project of this bathroom transformation. I am quickly just sweeping up. Like I mentioned, the video that I did before this, the part one of this, I did completely clean this entire bathroom. So it wasn't that dirty. I just needed to quickly do a sweep and then we got to the floor. So what I decided to do was I just wanted to map out exactly where I was going to put all of the tiles and kind of make sure that I had enough but you guys will see in a second, or actually in a few minutes, that we ended up not having enough tiles, so I did have to purchase some more off of Amazon. That's the nice thing about this flooring, is that it is from Amazon, and it is like super quick, prime delivery, so if you do run out, you can just quickly purchase another box or two, and it'll be there the next day. So I did have to do that, but we are starting. I ended up having to move everything down, and I started off in a corner where the bathtub was. I did want the like flooring or the tiles around the bathtub to not be too small because I do know that that's going to be the area that gets the most moisture and stuff like that. So I didn't want any small um, you know, cut pieces to be near there. So we started with full tiles near the bathtub and then we worked off of that. Um, these are pretty easy to work with. Um, I would say that the stickiness does get everywhere. I still do need to actually go back and clean them all off because a lot of the sticky residue ended up on the tiles and on the floor. So I'm gonna have to do that in the future. But I wanted to show you guys here that I did use an exacto knife just to kind of measure out where things were if I had to cut the tiles. But I did discover that the easiest way to actually cut the tiles themselves is just with a pair of scissors. So you guys will see there that we easily just cut the space where the register is and stuck that down. And then I continued for the rest of the floor and just got it done.
the flooring was finished, I just went ahead and put some caulking around all of the edges. This was just to clean up all of the rough edges that I unfortunately did, as well as just making sure that everything was secure and in place. Now that didn't take very long at all, and we are already on to the next thing, which is putting all of the drawer faces and the cabinet door back on the cabinet. This guys ended up turning out so nicely. I was so, so impressed with this chalk paint. I just can't get over it. And how well the gray cabinet works with the flooring. I just, I think it adds a little bit more warmth and not so stark black and white. I was really happy with adding in the gray. I think it just, it looks amazing. So once I was finished, I did move on to the hardware, which you guys can see here that it is the Bagamas, I think that's how you pronounce it, from Ikea. These I actually picked up quite a long time ago and I've just been waiting for this bathroom transformation to put them in, but I really just love the simple black, small, dainty kind of look they have to them. So ending off day two, we are just quickly taking off the tape here and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so it is now day number three and we are almost finished. I'm finishing it today and we are getting the video up today because I have no other choice. So I did order some more flooring yesterday that came in this morning. So we have to finish up the floor, we have to put up the mirror, we have to put up the shower curtain. We also have to do a little bit of caulking around the cabinet and the countertop, sink, all that. And then we just have to put some finishing touches in and that'll be everything. So let's freaking get into it because this video has already been like 25 minutes long. Let's go. Guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally be able to show you guys the finished product of this bathroom. I am just so, so happy with the way that it ended up turning out, but we do have a few last minute things that we have to do. So the first thing that I'm doing here is I'm just patching up a few of the spots that I needed. Oh, there's Penny. She's so cute. Um, that I just needed to patch up on the floor with the new box of flooring that came in the mail today. So we are just putting on these few little pieces at the front here. And then I also did put some behind the toilet. I did not show that just because, I don't know, you guys don't need to see a toilet on your screen. So next up, we are just moving on to the caulking. This actually was a lot easier than I thought. Around the sink was a little bit more difficult, but around like the top of the little area there on the wall, it just, it was so easy and I loved it. So anyways, we are actually gonna move on to a few of the last minute touches. So I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna put on some music and I really, really hope that you guys love the end product. I am in love with it and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy. Bye guys. Thank you.